Howdy all, this is Shane. We're looking at the PV Delta Plus 115. Now this is the single 15 inch speaker version, not the 210. But basically the control panel here is exactly the same. As you can see that we've got one input for the guitar. We have a normal channel, which is a clean channel. Now this has quite a lot of clean headroom, especially with a Strat or a Tally. I have to turn it to six or seven before I actually get natural overdrive, which is good because the overdrive channel is actually quite usable. I really like it and uh, the clean channel is very, very clean, which is great. We have a pre-amp setting here. So this basically, this is your drive and that's your post slash master volume for the drive channel. So you can dial in you know, a quieter sound with more gain or less gain and more clean. So it's, it's really quite cool. Now we have a reverb dial right here. It also has a three band EQ, bass, middle and treble with a boost switch. Now, this in sounds crap. This out sounds great. So if you have one of these amps, definitely leave that thing out. It just, it goes all nasally and weird. I don't like that at all. And we also have an effects return and effects send jack inputs and outputs here. On the far right of the amp, we have an optical tremolo. Now, for those who know a bit about tremolo, this is very, very different to say a Vox tremolo. It sounds nothing like it. It sort of sounds shallow and weird. Um, it's good. I mean, if it's the only tremolo you have, then it's going to be fine. But if you've got another amp with nice tremolo, then you're going to kind of probably not use it or, you know, maybe even just use a pedal, like a Boss tremolo pedal or something like that. Now on the back, as you can see, it's designed and made in Mississippi, USA, home of the blues. And there's the state there. So that's pretty good. And we have some EL84 tubes here and some 12 AX7s over here. This is what I really like about this amp. I find that I'm more of an EL84 guy now than a 6L6 tube guy, which you'll find in the Fender amps. I, I kind of like the toppy Vox tone a lot, and while this amp doesn't sound exactly like a Vox, you can see that in other videos I have, but it's got that kind of top end and that kind of compression on the drive signal that I really dig. And yeah, it's great. It also comes with this grill here to protect the tubes and one single blue marvel big 15 inch speaker right here down here is the spring reverb there is a small issue with these amps if you have the reverb too loud or too far up and the amp is cranked it will actually trigger a signal through the spring reverb that will keep it resonating which is basically like feedback so certain as you know certain frequencies will make a cabinet rattle like a box for a, for an amp and certain frequencies in this will actually trigger the reverb so i'm looking at some options to get that sorted out but other than that the reverb's okay it's maybe not quite as nice as a fender amp it's reverb but as far as tone goes this definitely is nice it's just a different tone all right this is the front of the amp as you can see it's got a vintage style cloth grill and you can just see the speaker through the grill cloth, which is really cool. So you know where, where you're actually going to mic it up if you have to. You can see where you're going to put the microphone. Um, and it does have the laminated tweed style look. It's not tweeted per se, it's more of a like a vinyl, not a vinyl, but just a basically stick on tweed look, which is fine. I don't really care too much for that. And down the bottom, you can see the Delta Blues logo. And up the top, you can see the PV one. That's the amp from the front. It looks good. And uh, now the top of the amp does have a leather handle, which is really nice and soft and easy to lift. It feels like spring loaded, as you can see. It's really quite good. I like the handles on the PV amps. 